Blog Talk Radio. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the whole picture. BK is still out with uh, a hurt knee right now. His knee's a little swollen, so he's calling in again. Hopefully for the last time. Hopefully. Uh, we also got a special guest with us today. We got Nettie with us. Hi, everybody. She'll be chiming in every now and then. But we got a new show for you. We've normally been doing shows with themes to it, like least known baseball movies, war movies, and blah, 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 all that. But the whole point of this show, when we first started it, was to do the whole, it's just a bunch of guys talk, or a bunch of people talking about movies that love movies, and just talk about what we think about it. And it kind of strayed from that, but now we're going back to that. So we also got... With that, we also got a new website. It's www.wholepicturepod.com instead of wholepicturemovies.com to match up with our Twitter and our Facebook. We also we definitely ex- want y'all to call in, be part of the show. The number is 657-383-0855. And, I mean, today we got stuff. We got some trailers we're going to talk about. Uh... Since it is April and yes, 420 had passed, but we still got a couple of 420 people out there that probably listen to the show, so we're going to do a little something for them. Uh, we got four movies in 20 seconds that we'll get to, but right now we're going to talk about uh, a little beat that was going on during Fast and the Furious 8, The Fate of the Furious. I've actually been wanting to see this movie, and I just really heard about this ac- or incident with The Rock and Vin Diesel. What about you? Have you have you heard about this before? I, I heard about it. Um, I saw something pop up about the resolution, I don't know, last week, week before, right before the movie comes out, you know, um, talking about how they're good and this and that. And I didn't know what it was all about or anything until... Um, you know, I got to reading some of the show notes and everything, and then I did a little more research and digging in. Yeah, it's typical. I think it seems like Vin Diesel's done this before um, on a couple of movies, but not all of them. He's not always like this. And it's usually when something he has going on, so um, like something severe in his personal life. But I didn't, I didn't see anything. I didn't read anything. But I heard the big resolution, you know, and he's, he came out and said, no, we're good. He's he's Uncle Dwayne at my house, which, you know, so I don't know. We'll see. But apparently he was what, being a turd on the set. But What I heard is it was like that last se- – on the last uh, – sh- uh, that show. <laughs> <laughs> on the last uh, movie, too, on 7. It was like that from what I hear. Really? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I I've heard it from him before. But not, mm-hmm. it's not always like this, and it's not consistent like this. Sometimes it's he does this, and sometimes he's just the absolutely perfect person in the world, and you can't wait to work with him again. But I, I, I don't know. I guess it just depends. You know, people are people, and whatever's going on in their lives, sometimes it affects them. You know, like me and my knee, it'd be much easier to do this show if I were able to be there. But we right. make the most of it, and we go on. But and and I don't know what he had going on, if anything, or if that was just, I don't know. But well, apparently they got it all cleared up. Well, I kind of noticed a trend with The Rock, because just like, um, he keeps taking over in sequels. Haven't you noticed um, he took over in G.I. Joe? Yeah. First, and um, he did the second one to that, and then... He took over, um, he did a thing all about him and Fast and the Furious in one of the, uh, one of the episodes, I can't remember which one, <laughs> at the time. So, so you're saying he's the sequel king? Yeah, and he also did the, um, 
Because technically, he started his movie career on a sequel with The Scorpion King. Well, I'm trying to remember. Um, he also did the one where uh, it was Brendan Fraser at first, and uh, they went to Journey to the Earth, Center Journey of the, the Earth. Earth. Journey yeah. To the yeah. Earth. Journey to the Earth. Right. Yeah. He took over that one, you know, too. So why hasn't he ever started something like from his, from him in the beginning? Like he did, Tooth Fairy. No, no. Get Her Done ended up being in the second one. But he started it. He did. But he, he started made a, He was the first He one. made a... Well, yeah, that is true. Okay. Shout out to Tooth Fairy for him. Woohoo. But compared to his track Gameplay. record of how many times he's come in second, and it's never really... Uh, went on from there. Whoa, on Fast and Furious, that was what? Six, five, six? Uh, he came in on? Yeah, I think so. You know, like on the G.I. Joe, he not only took over, he uh-huh. took it from Channing yes. Tatum. In that movie. Yeah, they, they had to refilm parts of the movie because Channing Tatum wouldn't work with it. Yes. Oh, it, really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Do you know yeah. how many people were pissed off because he he ended up dying in the second one, and all because it, they made it all about The Rock? People the were first, so pissed. Like That's why they minutes. don't care about the G.I. Joe series. They don't care about it. That's why there's not a third one also. Uh, uh, right? <laughs> well, the second one didn't have the the energy the first one did. No, it didn't. No, it the didn't first have the energy. The first one had heart, it had a good story, it had a background, I mean, it had everything about it, and then you kill off the main character in the second, so the rock can take over? And then, no. No, it just does not all fit, it was all about the rock. That's the thing, he's trying to take people off that he's a wrestler, and he wants to be a serious No, 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 he's not a wrestler no more, he doesn't wrestle. Oh, he has wrestled. Or does he? Yes, he still wrestles. Eh, he's not a wrestler like he was. No, because he wants to be... I think he may have actually the... finally officially retired. Has he's, he really? He's not the people's champ I, no I more. I think so. Okay. I think that's Mr. You Can't See Me, but I wouldn't know because I can't see him. Okay, we will definitely um, want to talk about that. So any of you wrestler fans listening, can you please call in at 657 657- Three eight three zero eight five five, and please let us know if he's still wrestling. Cause us three, we don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch it anymore because it kind of changed. And oh, when when, the, when Vince McMahon bought WCW and all the other ones, it kind of went downhill. Oh, dude, the they don't have them like they used to, like the Warrior and uh, the Brothers. The Brothers, that that was a thing. No, no, it wasn't a thing. I just can't think of their name. The Von Erichs? Yes, the Von Erichs. The classic Von Erichs. Oh, yeah. You you remember those, right, BK? I I absolutely remember the Von Erichs. um, And I'm excited that Kevin Von Erichs' sons are wrestling. Uh, They got a deal with uh, Impact Wrestling. Oh, nice. Um, Oh, real nice. And and not only did they get a deal with them, they're they're under the name Von Erich now. Oh, sweet. Carrie Von Erich's daughter, Lacey Von Erich, was on there for a long time before them as one of the beautiful people, and then she got married and pregnant, and I don't know if she's back or not, but um, when Hmm. Kevin Von Erich's sons got into wrestling, they went in under an assumed name because they didn't want to go in on the coattails of Dad and the family. They wanted to make their own name, and they did, and then they found out who they were, and, and so they earned their way in. They didn't just coattail their way in. And I thought, and so, and they're superstars. Hey, that would make a good biography. Somebody needs to do a story on that because people who used to watch the Von Erics back in the day all remember them. I mean, everybody's watched wrestling at one time in their life, and they had their favorite wrestler. I don't care who you are. You're lying if you say you've never watched wrestling. Speaking of old school and all that. There happens to be a movie, a good fa- one of my one of my favorite movies. I say one of my favorites. It's in the top twenty of my favorite movies, which is Coming to America. It's ah! getting a, oh, a yes. sequel. It's yes. getting a sequel. Like really, I don't I don't know how they're going to pull this off because it's been they, so long since that Coming to America came out. As far as I know, they only got the same writers. As the first one, they better have some slow glow. They they better have <laughs> yes. Murphy, <laughs> they have have and they better have the girl that played his wife, or oh. else it 
it can't it can't be played off as oh she died or we got a divorce blah 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 you know and no, whatever happened to no. the princess who will dance on one foot whatever you say she got married to a king I, oh. I mean not a king that's king, right uh, Arsenio Hall his character oh really yeah I definitely would like yeah. to see the sequel that, that, that's my guess that's, but, that's what it should be there should definitely be a sequel because who doesn't remember hey and don't forget the old guys that got the money them greedy little bastards Oh, you yeah. know who I'm talking about. <laughs> that, yeah, that was that cool. Was... I like that little throwback to Trading Places. Oh, yeah. yeah then you know awesome. they got to bring back Dan Aykroyd. Okay, are they do a remaking of that one? Hint, hint. Yeah, no. Let's leave that one alone. Hey, that's a classic. Uh, that's still, a beautiful movie. I, I honestly say leave this one alone, too. Well, there's just some shows you should not touch. Period. Well, this is not a remake. Um, if this is a continuation of the story... That's mm-hmm. one thing. Yeah, and they're going to be able still. to get. They're going to be able to get a lot of the core cast in there, but Eddie Murphy's <laughs> father-in-law in this movie, I think he's passed away. Yeah, yeah. so he has. But his dad's alive. Right. His right. mother's deceased. Darth Vader. Yeah, that's his dad. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> Put the key. I am your father. Anyway, Do not choke uh, on your aspirations. <laughs> also, they're doing a uh, a kind of labyrinth reboot. Uh, do not touch. I boycott. It, I am voicing my opinion. It's not really yeah, I'm re- not okay with this. It's not really a reboot, don't care. but it's a story set in that universe. I don't care. The Quit thing about touching this movie. classics. Labyrinth is one show, that, uh, one movie you should never touch. I mean, that's timeless. Labyrinth I is I had a timeless. conversation about Labyrinth this week, about this. Because okay. look, look who's directing. The planned director is, what was his name? Feed Betty Alvarez? Yeah. I don't know how to say mm-hmm. his name. Um, it, but look what he's done. Don't Breathe. And Evil Dead. He's done horror movies. Right. What's he going to make out of this movie? He's going to turn gonna this ma- into a horror film. Yes, he is. And he's going to ruin everybody's fantasy. You but do not touch... No, you don't touch Lavrov. The, the thing that I do nope. kind of have interest in is because Jim Hansen's daughter is producing it. Maybe she wants yes, to produce... Yes, she's producing the, it. Maybe she wants to produce the darker side. So she's going on that to separate herself from her father, but to still show that she can produce. That's what the they only gonna, thing. Okay, Jared was the, the Goblin King. Yeah, and you know what? He's, he's dead. He's how, dead. how are they going to do that? Don't, no. Same universe, same king. No, 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 no. See what I mean? No. Apparently, Jared is, Gareth is not in this. That, but how's that going to work? You see what I mean? It's going to be completely... New Goblin King, just the same universe. No. Apparently, uh, they'll, they may have some backstory that Gareth was overthrown. He wasn't enough to keep that child or whatever. And or a maybe human girl gonna, defeated him. Or maybe they're going to do the Dr. Plumopoulos theory with the, when, the, when uh, what's-his-name died, Heath Ledger, and just he's the same character, it's just he looks different from different people's point of view. Well, that's that's not a bad idea, but <laughs> that's going to take way too long to explain. Oh yeah, and and definitely. that's not that's not what Hollywood does these days. Not really. They go for quick and easy. With one thing. Well, why do you look like so and so? I look like different people to everybody. It's what you like me to look like. Okay, what it comes down to is what they're going to do in order for somebody to be the Goblin King, and he has to be a jerk. It just means that Jared got overthrown. That's all that it means. It's because he showed weakness yeah. because of what the girl did to him. It destroyed. You saw You saw he was still a bird. That's either, you know, he got overthrown by another goblin king. So that's going to be another thing. And then it's going to be about their ancestry. Like your blah, blah, blah. Your <laughs> uh, daughter or your great, great grandmother or some crap See, like this that. This is where it can go. This is where it can go dark and horror right here. After she did what she did to Jared, he had gone nuts. He didn't get overthrown. He would went nuts. Okay? And now, oh my God, he found another woman, and he's gone even more nuts. 
No, we're not doing this. Callers out there, so, do not watch this, okay? Leave Labyrinth so alone. Basically, we have a horror movie of Labyrinth with a river that farts. <laughs> That's right. That, yeah. Oh and, God, now, yeah. let me tell you what success does not smell like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, okay, what about, uh, do you hear about Dolph Lundgren being in Aquaman? Mm -hmm. I he's haven't heard character? that yet. He's um, gonna be, but I could see that. He's going to play King ne Nezirus. I'm not a big Aquaman fan, so I'm not exactly sure how to say that. That's King Neris, I believe. I'm, I may be, be wrong, too, but I'm not... But, yeah, he's. I guess he's. Pro I'm gonna bet he has just a small part in it, though. In, I in the, don't know the whole it, thing because it sounds was, like it's kind of the whole setup of like he took over the King Triton, banished Ariel, and now he's the ruler of the seas, and here comes Aquaman. And but if there's a whole species down there. Doesn't that make Aquaman less special? <laughs> I, That's the yeah, problem well, I have with this. Well, um, maybe what it is is that Aquaman's the only one that has powers. The only thing that the other people down there have is that they're able to swim underwater. But the chosen one, I guess, the you know Aquaman, he has actual powers. Again, if you know the about Metahuman. Aquaman, because I know I don't, I don't know about anybody else. If you know about Aquaman, call in. Six five seven three eight three zero eight five five. You know, set us straight on that because, I mean, I don't know anything about it, and I'm I I have, I think it could be just like the royal family, like Aquaman, his brother, sister, mom, dad, whatever. They're the only ones with special powers. Yeah. Except for like black. Except for like a select chosen few. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> what uh, What's this I hear about the X-Files? It seems like, um, you remember last year, the X-Files had a really short run where they brought back David Duchovny and Jillian Anderson and the whole X-Files squad and opened the X-Files back up after they shut it down for all those years. And they had, they just called it a TV event. And it kind of was. I mean, it, and if and I watched it because I was always a fan of the show. I enjoyed it from the beginning, and um, it started out with a big conspiracy theory that actually reversed the whole conspiracy theory. <laughs> it was oh, really okay, bizarre. So, so for the people that don't know X Files, what is X Files? Okay, the X Files are where it's a FBI division where they have files that they can't file under anything else as homicide, murder, missing person. It's all unexplained phenomena or whatever. And so they just, since X has the least files in the alphabet, they get put under X. Ah, and that's where okay. the X, X files come from. Uh, you know, UFOs. Well, it's, they're not going to file it under you because that could be unidentified assailant from whatever, and they've got a stack of those. But UFOs, right. well, we don't really care about this, so they're still it under X. And that way, okay. it just kind of gets buried. So, spooky so Mulder, in other words, they got know, the shit jobs. Right. Well, Mulder wanted it. He wanted it because he believed in that stuff. And so he went investigating it, and he, the FBI didn't want him running loose. So they got um, Scully, played by Jillian Anderson, to mm -hmm. be a scientific doctor to debunk anything he says with science. And right. eventually, over the course of the series, as it ran, she believed, and then Mulder went away for so, a while. So I take it she didn't then, believe at first? No, she thought... No, she, she did not believe at all at first. She thought he was just crazy and that she was The point just where she started believing was the point where Mulder went away. Uh -huh. And they got, um, what's his name on there? Um, played uh, Doggett. 
was I obviously his name is Doggett. He's on um Scorpion now. Um he was the Scorpion? Terminator two, the liquid terminator. What's his name? Oh, I can't think of his oh, name. Oh that guy. Okay, I know who you're talking yeah, about. I can't oh. think of his name. Anyway, he was uh, um the um he took Mulder's place for a couple seasons or maybe three. I don't remember how long. It was like maybe just two. And then he came back every now and then towards the last couple of seasons. Um, and, um, mm-hmm. but, um, uh, he, he was the non-believer. Robert Patrick, that's his name. And, um, Scully was the believer in the weird stuff. Well then, <laughs> and this was all because there was a contract dispute. David and company thought he was worth more, should have got more, and he should have. Because he kept getting shunned at award shows and everything else, and they were deserving of some things. Um, maybe right. not everything that they thought they deserved, but they were deserving, and they were nominated. So you know they should have got a little respect. And so right. um, he he wanted a little bit more money, and so they wrote him off the show for a little while. And then he came back, and they still managed to get in there um, every now and then in the subsequent seasons. And they had another female come in because Julian Anderson had taken some time off because she actually had a baby during the show. And they actually right. incorporated it into the show. And in last year's run of the X-Files, the child was mentioned because it's Mulder and Scully's child. So they took the child and hid it away, and no one knows the identity of the child. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I did not know that. And so they, they referenced it a few times through in the episodes last time. I want to say it was six episodes, but it might have been more than that. But it was really good. I always, I mean, was, I always knew there was some kind of attraction between them two. It's like an unspoken love. Speaking of attraction, yeah. you know what time it is? Huh. It's trailer Uh-oh. time. <laughs> it's trailer time. <laughs> trailer so, time. Uh, we're, we're going to play the Star Wars Last Jedi trailer, and then we're going to talk about that. So here it is. No, I now realize this is more of a like visual trailer. It really is. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing I've so seen for, it. So for the people that haven't seen it, I apologize. Uh, it will be on the YouTube channel, though. That is, if it doesn't get taken down. And if it does, I'm sorry, it'll be skipped over and we'll get to this part right here. But, yeah, well, I thought it was... If it good does, get, it, even if it doesn't, go find this trailer and watch it. it it'll give you chills. 
It will. Especially and, because that last line where Luke says, it's time for the Jedi to end. Now, question. Jedi Order or Jedi completely dead, gone? <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, I think the Jedi Order, because one of the scenes in there that we obviously are on a audio-only program, um, is they're touching a very old book that has the logo of the Jedi on it. And because you remember it was said that Luke went looking for the first Jedi temple. So he's looking at very old things. And Mm -hmm. everything is speculation at this point. It can't be a spoiler because I have not worked on this movie. And if I was doing that and letting stuff out, uh, Disney would have me assassinated. So um, Mm -hmm. obviously. Allegedly. Well, you know, you know, I'm not wrong. (laughs) <laughs> you know I'm, no, I'm talking about the Disney killing. But, I'm talking about Disney killing. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. But um, <laughs> but, uh, allegedly they would have me assassinated. <laughs> but but you but you know I it would happen anyway. Um, they um, the whole point is that you know the Jedi, their their time has come and gone, and we tried to revive them. Luke did. And apparently everything went to hell, and that's why Kylo Ren and the Order of Ren have been running wild. Uh, now we have all these dark Jedi running around. Oh, what about and so, uh, Kylo Ren's mask being broke and you hearing Darth Vader's breathing? I, I don't know. I think there's going to definitely be some confrontation in this film. Um if they're truly using this trilogy to pass the torch of the Skywalker family from the old originals to the new crew, then I think what they'll do is, you know, we're going to lose them one by one, either on the screen or in real life, because we lost two of them last year in real life. Right. Right. And, um... And we know that General Leia will make it to the next movie because, you know, there's that, that stuff came out that they're going to use older footage that right. they had. Um, so I don't know what they're going to do exactly with that. I'm, I'm interested to see. Um, Me too. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of the the whole universe, and so we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I think Luke's, idea that it's time for the Jedi to end and it's going to be a different kind of Jedi order. Some speculation is that they're going to explore the gray Jedi which is not Sith. It's not pure. This is the one side. It's more of what Qui-Gon Jinn was. Question the authority mm-hmm. and because mm-hmm. right. and, that was more of the um, ideological of the gray Jedi and I think that's where Luke's going with this, that we don't need this. We need more this. And right. maybe, I don't know, uh, just we'll have to wait and see because there's not a lot of information in this video. So have you heard but it of sure the... Sure does, sure, <laughs> it, it, it gets your blood bo- pumping, you know? Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Especially when you see Ray twirling that lightsaber training. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. But have you seen... Uh, there's this YouTube channel called How It Should Have Ended. Oh, it's a I cartoon love channel. It. Yes. Oh, I love that. I could watch them all day. Okay. They put out a type of... They got a uh, thing they call Super Cafe where it's Batman and Superman talking to each other at like a ca- coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. And so I've got, I've got that, but they're talking about... It's called The Last Trailer. Let's check this out. So, did you see the new trailer? Yes, who didn't? It's like super viral. I know, right? Pretty popular, huh? It is! There's so much mystery to it. Uh Uh-huh. And dark. Yep. Like, what's gonna happen? I know, they're not giving very much away. And when they showed Ray on the side of the cliff just swinging that lightsaber... Oh, you're talking about... I was like, get it, girl. Star Wars. You learned those Force powers. Again. And the tragic Star Wars theme with the title card, when Luke says... It's time for the Jedi to end. Oh, so powerful. (sighs) What? I'm not talking about the Star Wars trailer. I'm talking about our trailer. Again. Oh. 
You mean the Justice League trailer? What other trailer do you think I'm talking about when I say our trailer? Well, I wasn't in that trailer, so I wasn't sure you meant we as in you and I, or we like the royal we, man. Hey, Lebowski. I'm talking about the Justice League trailer. What did you think? I thought it was fine. I mean, Aquaman making car surfing look cool is probably not the greatest thing to teach kids, but I'm, I'm really way more concerned about what's going to happen to Ray. Ray, what about the League, dude? What's going to happen to them? Probably nothing. This is your first team-up. Do you think Ray's the last Jedi or is Luke? <sighs> and does he mean like the way of the Jedi must end or that there can't be any more Jedi ever? Or is it like if you wanted, you could study the Force and carry a lightsaber, you just can't call yourself a Jedi? You sound like such a dork right now. I'm a dork? Hey, uh, raise your hand if you're wearing your normal clothes or if you were wearing a costume resembling a winged mammal. Oh, what do you know? I'm dressed like a bat because I'm Batman. So these are my normal clothes. In your face, you're still a dork. I'm sorry, I have so many questions. Do you think Ray will turn to the dark side? No. Do you think we'll fight dark side? No, I think you're gonna fight me and my mullet. Do you think Ben Solo's gonna turn good? You mean Kylo Ren? No, Ben Solo. I really doubt that's the path they're gonna take on this one. Do you think Ray is related to Ben Kenobi? Possibly. Do you think we're gonna knock down a bunch of buildings again? Of course. Do you think there'll be a Ghost Obi-Wan scene? I don't care. A Ghost Yoda scene? I don't care. Ghost Anakin? I really doubt they'd be that brave. Do you think that engagement ring you gave Lois is the reason she's the key? Yes, it better be. Otherwise that whole thing is just silly. I know. Saying you guys are in love is laughable. Dude, we flooded a bathtub. And? I really hope Ray is a Kenobi. Ray Kenobi sounds so cool. I am Ray Kenobi. And I'm a Jedi like my grandfather before me. Why can't Rey have her own last name? Why does she have to be linked to the original cast? I bet Rey's supposed to be different. I bet she's her own thing. <gasps> like David Pumpkins. Exactly. Ray Pumpkins. She's her own thing. And the droids are... Part, part of, of it. it. Huh. David Pumpkins is Rey's father. I think, really, you should be asking who is her mother. Do you think her mother's name is Martha? Stop it. Also, I thought you didn't care. I don't. I think it's going to be Empire Strikes Back all over again, except with a new cast. Well, I hope you're wrong. Sort of. I do want her to get her hand cut off, which is a weird thing to wish on someone, but I hope it's not a carbon copy of Empire. Well, get ready to be disappointed. You get ready to be stupid. What? Because I probably won't be disappointed, even if it is just like Empire. How does... How does that make me stupid? It just does. Can we just talk about the Justice League trailer now? Nope, because I'm not in that trailer, so that trailer sucks. Well, by that definition, that would mean the last Jedi trailer sucks. Oh no, <laughs> dang it. That's not what I meant. Too late, you said it. You think Star Wars sucks. I do not! Yes, you do. I figured it out, because I'm bad. Dang it! <laughs> The other part of that last trailer mm -hmm. is Justice League. Mm -hmm. We got that right here. Yeah. We have to be ready. You, me, the others. There's an attack coming from far away. Not coming, Bruce. It's already here. The others. Where are they? Arthur Curry. The Aquaman. It's on him. Organic and biomechatronic body parts. He's a cyborg. You should probably move. Barry Allen. Whoever you're looking for, it's not me. You're the Batman. They said the age of heroes would never come again. It has to. Superpowers again? I'm rich. Ah! 
again just like a bat i dig it maybe temporary so what'd you think of that i thought the trailer was really good and i think the that part was aquaman was awesome just like a bat i dig it yeah. Maybe temporary. <laughs> that whole, right. you know, the whole Batman starting to crack jokes left and right. Everyone's like, why is he suddenly doing this? Why is he? He started it in Batman versus Superman. Right. Because it started during the battle with Doomsday. Wonder Woman's up there. I've killed things from other planets before. And Superman looks over. She with you? I thought she was with you. <laughs> I mean... What? He cracked a joke in the middle of a fight? What? I thought, I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) Let's get on to the 20 questions. I'm going to ask BK 20 questions. Oh, gosh. It's the 20 random questions time. So, number one, if John Candy was alive today, what would his next movie be? If John Candy was alive today, I don't know. What would his Oh, what does next really movie be? Yeah. Um, My favorite was Plane, Trains, and Automobiles and Uncle Buck. Yeah, God, I love those Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. But, um, I think that they would probably try and do a sequel to Plane, Trains, and Automobile. Ah, score one for Nettie. <laughs> Steve Martin's still here. Earlier. And you know what? Because there's so many correlations between that movie... And um, the uh, Kevin Bacon movie uh, that was playing on the TV in the background every time they flashed to Steve Martin's wife. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And because those two were so tied together. I don't know. If you could be on any game show, what would it be? If Yeah. Um, match game, because... I've been watching that lately, and Alec Baldwin just has me rolling on the floor laughing. Mm-hmm. What colors should a burp, a fart, and a sneeze be? Um, purple, brown, and green. <laughs> during In a that zombie order. apocalypse, during a zombie apocalypse, how long would you last? Till the end. What's the most annoying ad you've seen lately? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I've been skipping a lot of commercials lately, so um, (laughs) all of them, I guess. (laughs) Um, The Geico insurance lady is annoying me. I'll I'll have to say that it's not one in particular, but this whole field of these new drugs that keep coming out for, like, ulcerative colitis or something. And if you have irritable bowel syndrome, one of the big side effects is diarrhea. Well, why would you risk that? Don't you already have that? What's the problem? Don't take this medicine if you're allergic to this medicine. Why is this necessary? Are are we that bad in society and that stupid that we're going to take something we're allergic to? I mean, wait, rhetorical question. I know the answer. Next question, please. What was the best TV show ever made? Um, Battlestar Galactica, the second version. What comic book best describes you? Oh, man. Um, Doctor Strange, probably. 
What do really dumb people think about all day? And therein lies the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the, if you had, that would imply that there's thought. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you had a parrot, what's one thing it might repeat? <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I don't have a parrot. <laughs> and that's and that's plausible deniability. <laughs> if you were a golden if you were a garden gnome, what would you look like and what would you be doing? Um, if I were a garden gnome, I would be probably hidden underneath a shrub with a lightsaber. <laughs> What's the meaning of life? Um, I don't know. I'll have to go ask Monty Python. How many rabbits does it take to screw in a light bulb? Depends on how big they are. Light bulbs aren't very big. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a rabbit. Well, it doesn't matter. Rabbits, you know, can be pretty good size. Lots of meat on them. Good stew. <laughs> okay. What rhymes with orange? The word orange. Um, Orange. Orange? Yes. What rhymes with orange? I don't know. Um <laughs> Is is Orange a good rapper? Does he have good rhymes? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything that rhymes with Orange. There's nothing. Mm-mm. What's the best prank to pull on someone? The best prank to pull on someone? Um, you pulled on someone. I would say, well, I don't know. I've pulled some pretty good ones in my day. Um, The whole, um, well, you know, if you really like them, it's not so bad, but if it's someone that you're not really crazy about, the the shrimp and the hubcaps works really, really good. Especially on a hot summer day in Texas. Shrimp and the hubcaps, yeah. Because they'll never find it. They will never find it. And in a hot summer day in Texas, If you could be the star of a hit TV show, what's the name of this show, and what would your character's name be, and what is your role in the show? Hmm. I think it would be... um, I think it would be called My Other Life. And I think the show would be about a guy who has a split personality and is living two lives but doesn't know it. And no one around him knows it. And somehow he manages to maintain two jobs in two cities and lives two different lives. One's very outgoing and um, flamboyant, and the other one's very reclusive and introverted. And um, But somehow or another, they don't know each other, and no one in each world knows each other. And the whole thing would be, you know, as the world's, come together, and the character would have two different names. Oh, huh, okay. I, I don't know dumbest, what they would be, but... What's the dumbest thing someone can say on a first date? Um, <laughs> your place or mine? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this one you got to listen to. What would be the best okay. reward? What would be the best reward in return... For an alien anal probe. Um, <clears throat> to not happen? No, for it to happen. Um, it would be the no, best thing I to get out of it don't it know that happen. there would be a reward. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything that would be a reward. Um, a perfect health and longer to get life? Out of it? No, to, for it to happen. You want Perfect it to health happen? and longer no. life. For it no. happening, what would be the best reward for them to give you for for them to anal probe you? Um, n- no, <laughs> I agree with him. Uh, not happen. 
<laughs> Erase my memory yeah. and, and let me know that it never happened. How's that? I don't want any memory of it ever happening. If you could shoot a movie anywhere in the world, where would you shoot it? If I could shoot what anywhere in the world? A movie in the world, anywhere in the world. Oh, okay. Um, I like uh, tropical islands, so I would probably find an excuse to film on a tropical island for a while. Maybe Hawaii, um, maybe somewhere around Jamaica or something cleaner, maybe. I don't know. Hawaii is probably make, way cleaner, but I like the Caribbean. I like the Pacific. Uh, there's not a whole lot of Atlantic islands, so I don't know, might create one. Who knows? Which cartoon character most represents you? Bugs Bunny. But, okay. What's the best food for the munchies? Oh, French fries. French fries? Speaking of munchies, I'm going to go into the uh, four movies in 20, four stoner movies in 20 seconds. I'm not sure I can pull it off, but I'm going to try. So <laughs> let's. Let's try this. Four stoner movies in twenty seconds for for uh for the four twenty month here we go. Dave's gonna use a bunch of new things outfit a bunch of new pressions. Pineapple Express, a guy with his own murder, the time with his regular friend, the big doctor, he loves going to come up and thank you for the world. Super chickens, a group of high school no one can take the Done. There we go. I did it. Whew. I don't know if he caught all that, but I did Good it. Good job. <laughs> I think I caught most of it. So let's, the, uh, the, the music might have been a little hot, but I think we got it. It might have been. Uh, let's go with the uh, box office top ten real quick. We're kind of running right. out of time. So let's go with number ten, The Lost City of Z. I have actually never heard of this one. So number nine. I have. Th- what it's a, what's it about? Basically, the Lost City of Z was the story of a um, it's a ancient city, ancient civilization somewhere in like I think the Amazon or something, and it's uh-huh. based on a true story. And this guy spent his whole life looking for it, and they finally found the evidence of it or whatever, and there were actually people still there. Oh, okay. It, it looks really interesting. Okay, and number nine was the promise. Number eight was Gifted. Number seven, Unforgettable. Number six, Smurfs, The Lost Village, which oh, yeah. is, has nothing to do with the first two Smurfs. Completely new movie. I and, it's, and, it's, and it's just all like computer animated. So Then you got Going Out in Style, which is the old folks go, doing the whole right. you know, last two raw thing, mm-hmm. which got Morgan Freeman... Uh, Michael Caine and what's his name in it. Yeah. And then you got Born in China. Then, of course, you got number three, Beauty and the Beast. I still want to see that. Number two, Boss Baby. Same. And, and number I, I'd one. I'd like to see Boss Baby, too. Me, too. Number one, Fat, Fate of the Furious. So, which has <sighs> brought in quite a lot of stuff, actually. Revenue. Yeah, well... Yeah, I'm sure it's rolling in the cash. And, you know, everyone always scratches their head and looks at me funny when I say this, but I have not seen any of those movies. Not one. You should. It's actually pretty good. That's what everyone says, but... I'm going to give you two movies from when I was younger. They're cartoons that are getting made into a live-action movie. And tell me what you think, or if you even used to watch it. Uh, Robotech and Voltron. I did not watch Robotech, but I was always interested in the story because I thought it was kind of an interesting concept. Voltron I watched a little bit, and I always wanted to go back and pick it up again, but I never really... I think it's on Netflix, but I've, I've never really gone back and looked at it much. And I really want to, especially since like a couple of months ago in my Loot Crate, they, or the one of the extras, I get the socks extra. And uh, they had Voltron socks. So, I was, 
it just kind of pulled me back and to wanting to explore that again. But now that my time off is ending and I'm going back to work, uh, my days of watching extra stuff is probably <laughs> ending too. So, um, But yeah, I'm kind of interested in both of those. I'm not too sure about the Voltron. I mean, ever since Power Rangers came over to America, I always called them the wannabe Voltron. But well, I'm, yeah, I'm little... and so was G Force, and so was um, what was there's another one. Um, I can't remember what the other one was. Um, oh, uh, Thundercats was kind of called the same thing, and um, but I, all that oh, was I would love four to Power Rangers. That was all I before started, Power Rangers, though. I actually started kind of writing a Power Rangers, or not a Power Rangers, a Thundercats movie, but I kind of stopped. I would love to see a Thundercats movie with the animation and the and the way that they can do makeup and everything. I really, truly think they could bring them alive. You just got to find the perfect actors that uh, take on their personality because, you know, there's only... Yeah. Uh, Munchita and Snarf and all that, but they have the technology Snarf, now. Snarf. Yeah, they have the technology now to do Thundercats. They really do. They just need to find the perfect actors that fit that. And I bet Look you at the turtles. we would have a perfect Thundercats. And I could just see one, two, and three. I mean, you can go anywhere with Thundercats. Look at the turtles. Yeah, they did it with the Ninja Turtles. Uh, I know they can do it with Thundercats. Hey, no, if they can the... bring back um, Peter Cushing in Rogue One, and he can steal scenes from beyond mm-hmm. the grave, mm-hmm. they can do anything. So, oh yeah, yeah. So here's also another story that we didn't get to mention earlier. That I've got a little thing for you know CW Supergirl, you know, but she's yeah. also oh yeah signed on to play David Koresh's wife, which is yeah the... I saw that. For the Waco um, standoff, which has happened like four hours away from where we are. Well, longer oh, for BK. Less but. than that. Less than that. Waco's is it, what, hour and a half what? drive down. Is it? You're lucky. Yeah, it's really... Waco's close. Oh. It's, it's well, a little further here. for me, but... Oh. No, it's, it's, it's closer to you. Huh. Just just head over to 35 and head south, and yeah, it's really not that yeah, far. Okay. Yeah, it's about two hours away, really. Well, that's yeah, gonna but, be interesting. Yeah, it's about he. She's gonna be doing his his wife, so I wonder if she's gonna be in town. I may have to take a trip down to Waco. Sorry, baby. Um, it seems like the last couple of times they've they've done a couple of David Koresh movies. They did yeah, one, this one really like quick. Going to be a, a big one. I think so too, but I don't know that they're going to film too much in Waco because they never really went into town. You know, her and Koresh. Now, some of the others did. None of the Koresh and a lot of those others, they never left the compound. Um, And if it's before they got to the compound, they weren't in town necessarily. They came here from someplace else and... So I don't know if she's going to be in town much or not. I mean, I don't know where they're filming it, um, but we'll see. Yeah. And there she is. Yeah, I'll drive down with you. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're going to get into a segment we like to call Tweets from the Stars. We're going to be doing Anna Kendrick this time. Uh, we're going to be reading some of the tweets she's tweeted out on her Twitter account. You know, so I want to start it off with was one, uh, oh God, I just realized I'm stuck with me my whole life. <laughs> Every time Kendrick is trending, I get worried I'm in a ghost situation, and this is how I find out I'm dead. <laughs> God, she's she's hilarious. That's why I like her. She is. <laughs> she's hot. I call yeah. Dibs on starring in a Double Jeopardy remake, and Dibs on... Twitter is literally binding. Not do not question me. <laughs> <laughs> me, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Then mumbles the same sentence again. Me, totally. And I can hear her saying totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, 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 totally. Oh yes, definitely. Sometimes I feel like I could pull off the perfect murder. I'm not saying I would, but I think I could. <laughs> Merry Christmas. 
Wow. <laughs> what a joyful Christmas. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Go a little dark there. I'd say a good seven out of ten days, I end up thinking, I put a bra on for this. <laughs> you don't I think have most to, sweetheart. Ladies do. Thank you. Appreciate well, that. Sometimes it's more than seven out of ten, probably, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's probably ten out of ten. We would love to go braless, period. We don't want to have bras, but we don't need stereotypes and people talking. But feel free, ladies. Do not wear your bra if you do not want to. <laughs> Burn them. <laughs> My phases of grief, denial, anger, cookie dough straight from the tube, mm-hmm. booze, watching adorable animal animal videos to make sure I can still feel something. Aww. Yes, that's Anna Kendrick for you. Oh, that's baby. right. I join her in the booze. <laughs> Watch the cute little animals. I would do that. We got one Makes more uh, trailer. We got one more trailer. We're gonna play. It's the Thor trailer. Yes. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. Asgard is dead. What have you brought today? Tell me. A contender. It's main event time. He's a friend from work. Oh, come on. Thanks for listening to the Whole Picture Podcast, brought to you by Scent of a Geek. Scented wax with a geeky twist at www.scentofageek.com. We're on every other Sunday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time at blogtalkradio.com backslash whole picture pod. Don't forget to follow us for new updates on shows. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook at Whole Picture Pod. The Whole Picture is also on Google Play Music and iTunes. For more information, check out www.wholepicturemovies.com. <laughs> <laughs>